How to color manga skin with Copics. Okay, I apologize in advance for my voice. I'm a little bit sick. And also I want to say that there's not one way to color skin. Actually, a good way to put individuality to your characters is to give them different skin tones and different kind of color bases. And I'll go into that later. But right now, I am going to show you how to color one way for skin. And what I like to use is E00 Pale Fruit Pink along with some other colors, which are, sorry, I need to get them out. Um, I also kind of like to use this floral white color, which is E00 and E00, that's like the basic color, skin white. And um, I'll introduce the other colors as I go, because right now I don't, I just want to get into the video. Okay, I'm going to first just do a light coat of my E triple O. And this way I'm going to just kind of um maybe leave some areas white to just kind of notify where I want the highlight. This is where I start doing my planning and my thinking. So I'm like, oh, I would like some highlights here, some dark spots there. I guess I'm going to put the light from the left. And always, always, always think about the light source when you're draw um, coloring these pictures. Because that's how you know where to color. Well, I'm going to color that side lighter. And that side darker. Probably leave that white there. Here, this cheek. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but I'll try to verbalize what I do too. Okay, so I've gone and kind of just planned out in my head what I'm going to do, and it's okay when you do the really light stages, kind of like um, you make a little bit of mistakes here and there because it's really light, so you can't really see what you're doing. Be careful about using these light colors because you might waste ink. Because you're just coloring over and over and over again without realizing you're seeing so much ink. And now I'm using EOO Skin White to go back and go to the places where I want shadow now. So because the light source is on the left, the shadows are going to be on the right. And I want to make a dark area on the right side of my nose and a dark area under my lips. You can also make it light or dark on above the lip here. And to actually color well, you need to know like a good bit of anatomy. Because then you know what bones there are, what kind of like things there are you know, to the face. Because some basic things are um, under the lip, there's shadow, and there's cheekbones here, so you can put like an accent right there, like I did. Just be careful because you can overdo it. I also typically start with coloring the skin because it's usually the lightest, you know, color or place I'm coloring rather than like the clothes or hair because it's easier to cover the light colors with the dark colors than to cover light colors over the dark colors. <laughs> Not sure if that makes sense. Okay, now I'm going to my next color, like E02 Fruit Pink. Again, you don't have to use these colors I'm using, but if you just want to follow along, you can. I'm just going back over like maybe the darkest areas I want with this Fruit Pink. And if you want to blend it out, quickly go on to your, I guess, EO, -O, like base color, or maybe your lightest color you have. To make sure it's like nice and blended. Okay. 
and for a lot of them you have to let it kind of dry because it'll make like a wet stain and then it'll make a different dry color. Working fast is the key kind of here. And I also, for my coloring, I like to do um, a good balance of smooth bend blending and nice edges to make it like, you know, kind of contrast and fun to look at. It also is kind of is like the manga style to have like the cartoony edges. I kind of would like it darker, so around here, so I'm just going to choose a color. Well, usually you want to kind of pre-choose your colors in advance, where you kind of uh, get a scrap piece of paper, make a color blend, and see if you like that. I'm For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to choose a color. Right now it's going to be light orange. Oh, I forgot the ear, and this is something I always, always do. And you see here, I am going with the dark color first. This is perfectly acceptable, though it kind of um, makes your edges a bit blurrier if you're not careful, because you're going back over it and the edges aren't as crisp. So I'm just kind of carefully trying to avoid that edge right there. You'll see what I mean if you try it out yourself too. I think it's okay. But going with the darkest first is actually very um, good to do when you want a blurry, like blurry it out instead of making a crisp edge. Okay, and I think that's about it for coloring the skin. Tips and techniques. Okay, these are just some color blends I did on some scrap pieces of paper. Hopefully you can read it. And a lot of them have the base as EOO because this is my favorite and also I think one of the most popular skin tone you can choose. It's called Skin White. And these are just some kind of bases. Like this is a kind of orangey yet YR, which is yellow orange. Or yellow red, which is also orange. Kind of orangish. And this is with the reds. And this is actually I like this blend for blushes, like when you want a blushing character. And these are just like, this is a little bit more brown and earthy. And this is a little bit more like eggshell and maybe like grayish. So here are just some examples. Also, you can go and do um, whatever you want. I'm sorry that these are all like light skin tones for those who want dark skin tone types. I've never actually tried them. And I don't feel like I should be the one teaching them when I have no experience with it. So I'm just encouraging you to try it by yourself. Okay. Okay, that's the end of my tutorial, and I'm like the most bored person ever, so I'm just gonna like show you some random images. Thanks for watching, and if you have any more requests, you can post them on the comments page, as always. And I post these tutorials weekly, or I try to, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Okay, bye bye!